Now to some education, the head teacher for Asasekoko DA Basic School in the Okere District in the Eastern Region say many parents in the community and surrounding areas are struggling to provide school uniforms and shoes for their children due to poverty. Now the head teacher Safo Ofori Ankuma says that the situation affects confidence of such pupils. Therefore, he called for an intervention to help such children. Asa Sekoko, a farming community in Okre district in Eastern Region, is arguably one of the rural communities experiencing high poverty levels due to deprivation of basic necessities and poverty alleviation interventions. Residents, predominantly peasant farmers, are struggling to survive the harsh economic conditions in the country. Buying school uniforms and shoes for their children have become a daunting responsibility, leaving some of the children to wear tattered uniforms and sandals to school. The nature of the job that they do, most of them are farmers. And as they produce and they don't uh, harvest it on time to send it to the market to get the money, then it will be a challenge for them to purchase the school uniform for them. So in as much as they don't have the money, then it means the child will also be working with a tattered uniform until they get the money. Kwame Nkrumah Botu, Nanama Ahoy of the famous Ahoy family and Nanaya Apia who led the 1994 year group of Christ the King O Students Association in Accra were shocked at the level of deprivation and poverty in the community when they donated school uniforms to the school children in Asasekoko community. We donated 55 school uniforms for the children of Asasekoko Basic School. And we must say that we are very impressed with the ceremony that went on today because teenage pregnancy is a problem everywhere especially in the rural areas of Ghana and also career guidance is also a problem for many even those who have been to good schools so having the two talks on avoiding teenage pregnancy and also encouraging the children and their parents to take up vocational training is in the right direction. We've seen a lot of the children here today who have, you know, they are at all right, but it's torn in the armpit, it's torn at the back. So you can imagine if a teacher calls you to answer a question or come up to the blackboard, can this pupil walk up confidently and do what he or she has to do? So our uniforms are to just, like I said, encourage the students to, you know, be bolder in class, to build their confidence, to make them want to aspire to be, you know, great businessmen, businesswomen, doctors, teachers, what have you. So our mission was quite simple, you know, to sow the seed for more to come. Teenage girls in Asasekoko and surrounding communities such as Gbemumu are at the receiving end of poverty as they fall prey to sexual predators in their desperation to get basic needs such as sanitary parts and school uniforms. This has led to increasing incidents of teenage pregnancy. Executive Director of As I Grow, Deborah Bequeen Isaac, who coordinated the donation to the impoverished community, urged the privileged few in society to support poverty alleviation interventions in rural areas. <laughs> Obia owo ntare mpaboa obia owo nia ma bi ebetumi dia boa ama se bi won awo won kuro nketu amu no won so won ni age no be sere se we be reach out to asa grow organization